Uh, as you can see, that animation is just done by him. He, this is his. This is also like his ancestor. He makes the craziest DD memes ever. So I really recommend that you guys do check him out. The fuck? Now, if you, what the fuck is this? What is this guy? What is this shit? Why? Like, why do you do this to yourself? Why is this guy in position three? <laughs> why is he position three? My God, Jesus! Why is he position three there? Can somebody tell me why this flag is position three? Just, just, t just tell me. And yes, this is just endlessly baffling for me. Holy shit! This is crazy. Why is he position three? Uh, yeah, I just removed this stun. I can play this slow. I mean, he's using the suffer, right? Just clears marks, move transfers, all this bleeds onto himself. It's still so insane. Like, why? Also, he has a... Okay, he uses uppercut. That's reasonable, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. This is trouble then for me. This kind of is trouble for me, not... Uh, honestly, this is... This is not great. This is not great. I should have just stunned the BH then. I might have just... I think this was smarter, just stunning the BH then. Because I kind of wanted to AoE stun this guy. I, I guess this was just not a not the right thing to do. I messed up. I messed up. I should have just gone for the stun there. I didn't realize he was going to uppercut me. So this basically means this, uh, this A-bomb is, is kind of bad. He, stunts, he spams regions. I don't know about this. I'm gonna say I don't know about this. So we get a stun number two. I messed up with the A bomb for sure. I could have just stunned this guy. So this this kind of looked really differently then, because I was kind of gonna stun those two guys. But I think like this is still okay. I have double stuns on myself. This A bomb is just gonna transform and move. This is enough. I feel he reclaims. And this is nuts. What the hell is he doing? Just kind of curious as to how this works in practice, because in theory it looks quite interesting, but in practice, uh, raises an eyebrow, eyebrow or two, guys. This just raises eyebrows. This is kind of a new rendition of the unkillable composition, I guess. That's what it looks like to me. I did fuck up though with this with this uh, a bomb. This admittedly might have been a, a turning point for this game. I think I'm gonna be doing enough stress AOE anyway. That's that's fine. Let's see. I'm actually I've never seen this before. So yeah, he heals for a lot, right? Because he has like bonus healing on himself. Like he has a sixty percent bonus healing for himself. So he's just gonna hitting this guy is just gonna be pointless. Mm. Yeah, I cannot double stun this anymore though. That's the problem. I cannot double stun this. I can do this though, I think this is big enough. Just spams the suffer, doesn't he? Uh, yeah, that's unlikely to work as well, so... I mean, unlikely isn't the word, it's just not that likely to work. I'm just gonna go for it anyway. Probably works, probably doesn't. Doesn't fuck. Okay, 50 50. Was it was a coin toss indeed? Because we have 50% stun chance overall here. So he's gonna be very annoying because he's just gonna keep dragging me forward, I guess. That's this kind of sad for this A bomb to be, you know, kind of displaced so heavily. Uh, I really needed that stun to go through for that very reason. So we have zero stuns right now. This is very like very nice for him. Um, Although this is okay for me because I can just try to stun this guy again. Uh, that's that's not that terrible. Also, I can just move the Abel right now with the slam to, to kind of secure this, which I'm gonna do. This is the safest thing for me. Just wait for his stuns, wait for his CC to come through, and then I'm just gonna kind of move him around a bit. Because he's just gonna be useless from here. I don't know what he's trying to, to do with this uh, with this BH, honestly. 
So obviously this kind of delays my transformations, but this is still fine. I think this is still fine. Because I do get a double stun right now. I do get a double stun right now. So... I might actually be making a mistake here. I, it's, potentially I should be just playing a bit more aggressive here. This flash can be is okay in position two. Cause I think okay, shit. That's not good though. This can't be good. Fuck. Yeah, this is not good. I have to I have to play this aggressive. I think if I lose this handmaster, I lose this handmaster, but like this was just such an unlucky crit. Like, I expected this to hit hard, but I, did, I didn't expect this to kind of kill me there. So you can use Reign of Sorrows here just to try to get the Execute here. Maybe he doesn't. Please don't get that kill. Okay, he doesn't get the kill. But he might get it again, right? Because it's like he's just gonna try this again on the next turn. Uh, maybe with the Antiquarian, maybe with the Flage. Who the fuck knows? Eh, yeah, we'll probably lose this, actually. This guy is playing this, this, this kind of smart comp overall. He's actually using Safa in a very reasonable way, right? He's using the Safa in a very reasonable way. But I can just kill the Flagellant. If he, if he doesn't get the kill here as well... Okay, he doesn't get the kill. So, I heal the, the Houndmaster now, I guess. I just heal the Houndmaster. And then I just try to kill the Flag. It's heavy DOT, though. Holy shit, 10 DOT. I can just stun this guy right now and kill the flag, right? That's what, I, what I'm gonna do, I think. I'm just gonna try to kill the flagellant there. So just go, we lead with the stun. And then we try to kill him. Like, we have a lot of possible potential kills here. Like, kill windows in this right now. Because he cannot, he is not gonna be able to heal this at all for a very long time right now. I needed to stun first, by the way, because otherwise there's like not guaranteed to to go to zero. It's 92% death blow rest. Holy shit! Fuck, that's true. I mean, I just go slow on this. I have time. I think I have time still. And now I just stun the Crusader, I think. I just go for a Crusader stun there. Um, right, it should open this up for me. I mean, I could go for a stun on the BH. This kind of means that he cannot reach rank. Uh, he cannot really re reach my uh, my Houndmaster then. If I just stun the BH. But this this is a guaranteed stun almost. And this isn't, so... Mm. It's kind of likely to work, though. Although I have like way higher kill chance on the Crusade than on, than on anybody else, so yeah, I'm just gonna go for the Seder here. Yeah, that's a very interesting fight, actually. This guy is kind of pulling through. Edu, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the dungeon, my man. Guys, if you're watching on Twitch, by the way, I kind of I like to remind you that I have a very very big YouTube channel which is entirely dedicated to RPG games and to roguelike games. I have a lot of content on Darkest Dungeon there, so if you're enjoying this, you'll definitely enjoy my content over there. So I really invite you to join me in uh, in that channel. So stay tuned for that, guys. Stay tuned for that. He's gonna get three stuns potentially here. It might be triple stun. Look, is it triple? Is it triple? Is it triple? No, he resisted again. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, Drake. Why is he doing this? Man, this is so unlucky. Why didn't he get stunned here? Like, that's like second time this guy resisted a very high uh, chance stun overall, so. Come here, that doesn't do much right now. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Please just die, man. Just die, 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 die. I mean, come here means I can't heal the, the, the Hamas. I'm just gonna have to go for a kill here, so. 
Yeah. I, I need to kill this this flash right now. I need to just kind of all in on this and I should be okay. Because he's like heavily stressed as well. So I get this kill, I'm, I'm gold. If I don't get this kill, I'm in trouble. I just have to kill this. I do lose the Helm Master though, because this, this BH is just gonna kill me there. I just need to kind of all in this, I think. Okay, we get the death blow finally. That's very good. Mm. I could have played this differently though. I could have just started with the, uh, you know, led with the um, A bomb there, and that was kind of a mistake. So I might just go for a stun here. I might just go for a stun. I have 70 HP. I can just try to stun this, this BH now. And this might mean that, you know, this Helm Master just lives again. Oh, he has a Crusader active though, that's that's a problem, though. that's a problem. Might have not been the smartest decision in the world then, I guess. But the kill comes through, that's the, that's the important bit, right? We, he took a lot of fire, it, it actually took a lot of effort from me to kill this, but yeah. He doesn't kill the HM, so I go for a stun now, preemptively on the Seder, I guess, as well. Because then it might be trouble if I don't get the stun here. Mm. You know, I can actually go for a stun with the with the Vestal, and then just use the, uh, the, the yeah use the Helmmaster to do some stress. That's the big part of this uh, equation here. I can also heal these guys. I can heal both of them. That's very good for me. Yeah, and the anti core might indeed be trouble. Yeah, so it is not entirely like a solved fight or anything like that, but it's it's looking okay at least. It's looking winnable. I, I need to make like a serious mistake here. Please don't act out like in a very serious manner, okay? Good. We missed someone. We missed the BH. That's not entirely great. So... He's under heavy duress though on this, on this BH, so... Yeah, that's true. He was kind of lucky indeed. But this guy got a crit on him in the start as well. It just was not that likely, so... I think this is okay. It is fine, guys. It is fine. A death denied. I agree. Yeah, the HM was kind of lucky there. I, I think so too. I think Irrational is the worst. Oh, we got a dodge as well. Holy crap, look at this Helm Master go. Look at him, like, he's so nice to me today. This HM guy is just kind of a freaking birthday gift. Um, yeah, I cannot stand this at all. So I'm just going to transform, just get my stress off as soon as I can. Although, although I, I think now I should be just doing Blight here. I, I'm just going to repose this for now. Because... I don't want to move the Crusader out of position too, because this is like a lot of control I would have to concede then if I do that. So I feel like just spamming this is smart overall. Okay, he's gonna get reposted now as well. That's kind of another like you know small benefit of that. Get okay, very good, very nice perk for me. It's good to have that going for yourself. Uh, we go for a stun here on the Crusader as well. Could have dropped Zealous to just drop him below the uh, you know drop him below the, the threshold here of stress. He has no targets, right? That's the good part. He has no targets, so I activate the Hound, and then I just drop the AoE heal with the with the Vestal. I think that's the smart part. That's the smart thing to do. Yet yeah, Helmas is the carry of this comp. Okay, he moves me. Okay, that's fine. Don't think this kind of pushes his, uh, you know, his win condition anyhow. We get a crit as well here. This is going to be someone stressed very heavily. And I'm just going to AoE heal this as well. Look at this. Um, so I just dropped the AoE healing right now. Everybody is still alive. Right? This Hamlaster should have died a lot of times here though. That's true. This is looking kind of, kind of okay. I like my odds here. I like my odds in this game. 
And you know, nobody said, nobody has ever said this Crusader with Holy Lance cannot do a lot in this fight as well. This is kind of good, good for me overall. Okay, so we have a bit of stress coming through. And if he just act, I think he has no way of saving the BH as well. If he just activates the BH right now, uh, he just dies. So I have to just kind of hold on to my my Hound Master here. <laughs> oh, there's a crit as well. Oh God. What a poor guy. 34 stress. He took 34 stress there. Can you believe this? I, I, I think I can just... Um, wait, what the hell do I do here? Uh, and this was a mistake. I should not have picked this character. I was just kind of... Yeah, that's my bad. I mean, he doesn't have any choices, honestly, here. So, that's fine. I just want him to pick the... I should have just healed with the, with the Vestal, I think. That's my mistake. Because he just loses the, the BH now. There's no recalls there. Like, he just loses the BH. He has 198 stress. Okay, yeah. See? I don't need to do anything. I literally don't need to, to do anything there to, to win this. If you do like some bonus stress as well. And he picks this, he dies as well. The hmm. Okay, this is looking very nice. Victory. I drop A, okay. The Houndmaster rejects the healing. So this might be a bit of trouble later on down the line, but she is like super... Super, super dead there as well. So, overall pretty good situation. He might be a kill as well now. So this Hellmaster might die, but that's about everything there is actually happening in this. It's gonna be super done indeed, Shadow, yeah. Oh no, but I play a lot of compositions, like, this is the first time I play stun, honestly, in a long time. I haven't been playing stun at all. I'm just testing a new comp, because this was something that we kind of saw um, appear during the tournament overall. It was pretty cool, so I'm just kind of trying to test it. Oh god, no, 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 no. Eight. He transforms this is okay because like, I wanted to stun this anyway. Even the agent Oak will fall to the tempest winds. And I just heal the I, I don't have to heal the crusader. I, I, I can't because there's nothing else I really need to do there. So Although she takes six damage per turn, so maybe healing isn't exactly the right I, I can heal the A bomb, I think. That's the right call here. Yeah. So I, I don't really agree with you, Omni. I feel like this is kind of fun to watch as well. I mean, it's fun to be playing this comp because it just it's just something new, right? You never saw the combination of stun and like heavy stress overall. It was usually like one or the other. And this is like this is like a, a combination of two others where this comp is just very slow, methodical. I feel like this is kind of good strategic team. So I, I wouldn't be complaining about seeing this. This is like new as well. You haven't seen this before. I have never seen this on the ladder before I put it together, so it's kind of a new thing. New team on the block, guys. This is the new team on the block. The A-bomb act. Ah, uh, this is just a dead a Yeah, she just dies now. I can switch a composition, obviously. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. If you guys want me to switch the team, I think we've been we've been playing this team for a while. But I just don't think this is a. I know this is not a fun team to watch or anything. 